When it comes to the symbolic line annotations, there is one thing that we usually should add uh, in the elevation view for Windows, which is opening direction. Uh, I will, I'm in the interior view now and will try to use symbolic line on the subcategory elevation swing projection. So I will draw a line here and line here and we'll test it how it behaves when it changes the width. Okay, I see already the width doesn't work well and height. When it comes to height, Revit uh, remembered the points. Some of the snapping points Revit remembers, some of them not, but we just simply need to test it. Fortunately, we have this reference center left right reference plane, which will hopefully help us uh, snap to the to this point. Okay, I will use an align tool and using a tab key search for the end point of this line. We can also snap end points like that. So again, I will move here, use a line tool and search for the end point of this line and lock it. Let's test it now. Clicking apply. Okay, now it works well in this direction and we need to do the same for the other opening option. It works. It automatically created uh, symbolic lines for exterior elevation and it is mirrored so it works well. And uh, we can also parameterize the visibility of these lines by selecting them and give it a name. Okay, and these two Let's call it, okay. So now we can drive the visibility of this line and the function of this window when I'm in an elevation view. So I can, for example, switch off tilt opening option or the way it basically behaves in real life. The only thing I would do is to uh, yeah, make sure this tilt open is also in the visibility uh, subcategory. So now it looks really well. 